Seventh, accelerating the development of education, health, culture, and other social programs. Boosting the development of social programs is an effective way to promote social justice and increase people's happiness. We need to deepen reform of the social system and promote coordinated economic and social development by increasing spending and adopting stronger measures. We will give high priority to developing education and make it more equitable. We will continue to allocate more education resources to the central and western regions and rural areas and promote the balanced development of compulsory education. We will comprehensively improve conditions in pre-built and rural schools, providing compulsory education in poor areas. The number of rural students from poor areas enrolled in key colleges and universities will again be increased by more than 10 percent. And this will give rural children more opportunity to receive higher education. We will raise the competence of rural teachers, especially in poor and broader areas, expand the reach of quality education resources, and improve the nutrition of children in poor rural areas. We will develop preschool education and implement the plan to improve special education. We will continue to increase central government spending on education, use it more effectively, and strengthen oversight over its use. We will deepen comprehensive educational reform and actively and prudently reform the school examination and enrollment systems. We will expand the responsibility of provincial level governments over local education, give institutions of higher learning more decision making power and encourage the development of private schools. We will accelerate the establishment of an employment-oriented modern vocational education system. We will provide quality education to the next generation and work hard to ensure that all children have an equal opportunity to develop. We will deepen medical reform. We will consolidate the national basic medical insurance system and integrate the basic medical insurance system for rural residents with that for non-working urban residents through reform. We will improve the mechanism for the government, employer, and the employee to share the cost of basic medical insurance. The annual government subsidy for basic medical insurance for rural and non-working urban residents will be increased to 320 yuan per person. The major disease insurance scheme for rural and non-working urban residents will be introduced nationwide. We will strengthen urban and rural medical assistance and emergency assistance for disease treatment. Trial comprehensive reform of county-level public hospitals will be extended to cover 1,000 counties and 500 million rural residents. We will expand trial comprehensive reforms of urban public hospitals. We will abolish the practice of compensating for low medical service charges with high drug prices, adjust the prices of medical care and drugs, and create a mechanism for running hospitals by non-governmental capital. We will consolidate and improve the system of using basic medicines and new mechanisms for operating community level clinics. We will improve the system of tiered medical services, strengthen training of general practitioners, and allow doctors to work in more than one medical institution so that people can have easy access to quality medical services. We will improve our capacity to prevent and treat major communicable and chronic diseases and occupational and endemic diseases. The government subsidy for basic public services will be increased to 35 yuan per person. We will support the development of traditional Chinese medicine and traditional medicine of ethnic minorities. We will unwillingly adhere to the basic state policy of family planning and will implement the policy that allows married couples to have two children if one parent is a single child. We must resolutely press ahead with medical reform and work out a Chinese solution to this global problem so that Chinese people can enjoy a happier and healthy life. Culture is the lifeblood of the nation. We should foster and practice core socialist values, strengthen civic morality, and advance cultural and ethical progress.
We will continue to deepen reform of the cultural sector, improve policies pertaining to the cultural economy, and enhance China's overall cultural strength and competitiveness. We will deliver basic public cultural services in a standard and equitable way. We will develop culture and arts, the press and the publishing, and radio, television, and the film, and run archives well. We will promote the flourishing of philosophy and the social sciences. We will encourage the people to read. We will enhance the development of cultural industries and foster well-regulated market for cultural goods. We will carry forward China's cultural traditions and work to protect cultural relics. We will accelerate the spread of China's culture overseas, develop cultural trade, strengthen our international broadcasting capabilities, and enhance China's cultural soft power. We will develop fitness activities for everyone, competitive sports and the sports sector. China has an ancient civilization with a long history, and it can certainly develop a strong modern culture. We will promote innovation in social governance. We will focus on law-based governance and involve all parties in social governance. We will make village and community affairs transparent and strengthen democratic oversight over their management and get social organizations to play a bigger role in delivering public services and exercising social governance. We will strengthen emergency management and become better able to ensure public safety, prevent and mitigate disasters, and provide disaster relief. We will do our work related to earthquake, meteorology, surveying, and mapping well. We will reform the system of handling public complaints made in the form of letters and visits and promptly resolve social problems as they arise. Administrative review will be strengthened. We will strengthen education in general knowledge of law and increase legal aid. We will strengthen comprehensive maintenance of public order, crack down hard on violent crimes of terrorism, safeguard China's national security, create good public order, and work together to ensure public security in China. The, we condemned the terrorist incident occurred in Yunnan, Kunming. Do we pay our tribute to all the casualties and their relatives? And we pay our consolation to all people suffered. We need to crack down hard on all the incidents that challenge the baseline of human civilization and guarantee the safety of people's lives and the property and help to build a safe China.